Greetings, Wanderers. This is Chris from Joyful Wanderer, and today we will talk about Food Republic. Before we do, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click that bell icon to be notified when we release new content. Thanks. Food Republic is an upcharged dining venue available on several of NCL's chips. It is currently on Bliss, Encore, Escape, Prima, Viva, and Joy, and it's safe to assume that it'll probably be on Aqua when it sets sail. Food Republic specializes in Asian fusion cuisine. To dine here, you can either order things a la carte, which means every item gets charged to your stateroom, or you can use your dining package. Word of warning with your dining package, however, is each person with the dining package can order up to four items. So that could be three dishes and a dessert, or just four dishes altogether, which could be a lot of food if you're with a big party. When Topher and I ate here on Viva, we each had four items to order, and we really had to struggle. I don't think we actually made it to eight. I think we made it to maybe seven out of the eight. So just a heads up if you have the dining package if you plan to eat here. Now, let's take a look at their menu. Food Republic was kind of the predecessor to Indulge Food Hall, where people actually order their meal directly from a terminal at their table. Here is sharing is caring. These are appetizers that are meant to be shared with others at the table. You honestly can create a whole meal from this menu alone. Our favorite from this menu is the poke nachos. Here we have handhelds. Our favorites from this menu is the tuna pizza and the wonton tacos. Yum. Here we have sushi rolls. My personal favorites from this menu are the dragon roll and the volcano roll. Here we have noodles, rice, soups, and dumplings. I had the pho from this menu, and I wasn't impressed. Here we have sugar pump, the dessert menu. I don't think I made it this far into the meal, uh, only having ordered three of my items. Topher, however, did order the dark and stormy, and he wasn't a fan of it. Now let's take a quick look around the venue. As I mentioned before, you order there at your table at a terminal. I suggest you take it one item at a time per person, just so you don't get too much food too quickly, uh, and it will keep a tally of what you owe. Now, if you order within the confines of your dining package, this will drop to zero. But as you can see, Topher and I racked up almost $151 worth of food. So those of you doing it a la carte, be careful. It adds up quickly. So let's take a look at the dishes that we ordered. Here we have the poke nachos and the calamari. The poke nachos are awesome. I highly recommend them. The calamari, eh. Here we have the pho that I ordered, and as I mentioned before, I wasn't impressed. It wasn't nearly as flavorful as it should be. It lacked the hoisin and the sriracha. Another favorite of ours is the wonton tacos. These are so good. I hope to learn how to make these someday. Here are our sushi rolls. Topher got the rock shrimp roll, and I got the dragon roll, because I love me my unagi. We have never been disappointed by NCL sushi. So it appears I was wrong. I did order a fourth item. Here I had the lamb kalibi gui, which I guess I tried instead of do doing a dessert. Given I didn't remember it, probably means I wasn't a big fan. Although I may have been a little too full to fully enjoy it. So that could be it. And here is Tofu's dessert, the dark and stormy baba. Well, there you have it, Wanderers, a look at Food Republic on NCL's ships. Overall, Topher and I really like it. Even though there is a lot of food, we'll make sure to just go in extra hungry next time. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done so yet, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click that bell icon to be notified when we release new content. Also, find us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And don't forget, we book travel. Give us a call at 188-299-1969 and we'll get you on your joyful wandering. And if you've made it this far, go check out these videos. Again, thanks for watching. Bye, Wanderer.